You want to get into photography, but you do not know what gear to get and you do not want to spend more than $1,000? Well, then this guide is just right for you. Hey, Greeny here for Greenbox and as you might know, I'm really into roller coaster photography and that's why I started a roller coaster photography Instagram page just a month ago. And even though I started only one month ago, I got surprisingly many questions of what gear to get to get started. So I thought, why not create a YouTube video guide in which I talk about what gear I would get if I would have to start today. The first thing we need to get to start roller coaster photography or any other kind of photography is a camera. You guessed it. And I know that there are many, many good cameras out there. But for this video, I settled on Sony cameras just because from my personal experience, Sony is the only brand which hasn't let me down yet. So which camera would I recommend to someone who wants to start travel photography or in our case roller coaster photography? It would be the Sony A6100 which currently costs 889 US dollars. And I know what you think, man Greeny that's almost our budget. Yep that's right but we are not there yet and especially we not only get the body, which by the way, uh, looks like this. This is my personal Sony Alpha 6300, which is the predecessor to the 6100. Yeah, I know numbers and Sony, they, they don't get it. We not only get the body, we also get two lenses. One of which is a wide angle, which is 16 to 50 mil. This is uh, this specific one. And we also get a more telefocused lens, which is 55 millimeters to 210. This is important because if you go for roller coaster photography, you want to be able to zoom in to get those detail shots. So a tele lens is pretty important and that's what we get with that um, nice set. And just in case you don't want to spend almost the entire budget just on the camera itself, um, there's also a second camera I can recommend which is the Sony Alpha 6000, which is the predecessor to my version. But there is a little difference between those two cameras. Since we are talking about roller coaster photography, I can imagine that you not only want to take nice pictures, you might also want to take videos, maybe for your Insta feed or for a personal YouTube channel, or just to have fun watching roller coasters fly by. The thing is, the A6000 can only record in full HD, while the A6100 has 4K capabilities. I imagine you want to have 4K video of roller coasters if you want to use them on YouTube or Instagram. Other than that, most differences and improvements um, between those two cameras can be ignored for just going out there and shoot pictures of roller coasters or your travel adventures. So in case you don't want to spend almost $900 on the camera plus lenses, you can go for the Sony Alpha 6000, including both lenses, which will cost you around 684 US dollars. So this is definitely a cheaper alternative, but as I said, no 4K video capability. We have the camera and we have lenses. Next up, we need something to save those files too. And I went for a 64 gigabytes SD card for 1650. If you only want to take pictures with the card, you can go for a cheaper one. But if you want to take 4K video, this one with 150 max of write speed will be the way to go. This kind of hurts me to say, but because Sony camera batteries aren't the best, we need to get two more of those. In our case, we get a nice set with two batteries for additional $20. I usually don't have a problem to get through a day with two batteries if I shoot photos. But let's be honest, if you want to shoot videos too, and if you are in a theme park where you can't recharge your batteries, you might want to get three of them just to be sure. All right, so the next thing is pretty important too for travel photography as well as roller coaster photography. And this is a good bag to place your camera in. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I went through many, many, many bags for cameras and I hate most of them besides the very big ones, the big heavy backpacks where I can place like everything in there and this specific one. This is the Case Logic SLR sling bag and it costs 
whopping $80. I know this is rather much, but I really love it and I want to show you why. When I go to a theme park, I usually take my bigger camera, which is the Sony Alpha 7 Mark III. Okay, well, this is the S2, but my Mark III is recording. It's basically the same body size and it just fits perfectly in here from the depth. And because you are not shooting with this kind of body, but like a a6000 or 6100, you will see you need way less space in there and therefore you can pack stuff into this backpack, which is pretty nice. For example, you can place in here your, I don't know, sunglasses or a second pair of t-shirts in case you get wet or whatever you want to carry on a day trip. It also has a second compartment, which you can use to carry your second lens. In my case, I'm carrying a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, which is way bigger than your 55 to 210 millimeters, but this one still fits perfectly. So even though you, I don't know, upgrade to a bigger camera or upgrade to a bigger lens, this backpack will be still good to go for you. Also, there are more compartments just like this one, which you could use for, for example, your two additional batteries. There are many, many more compartments, for example, here, where you could place an ND filter in case you need one. There are even more compartments where you can place things like... It's a nice case and I really recommend you this one because it works perfectly as a sling bag. You can use like this. If you see something to shoot, you can easily sling it around, use it as a regular bag, take out your camera, shoot it, get it back onto your bag and you're set to go. And another pretty nice thing, because there is a second strap, is you can actually strap this to your body. And believe me, with this backpack, you can run. You can run without worrying about your gear in your back. Because I had to do it multiple times in Singapore where I traveled with this one. It's just perfect. It's super handy because of its sling design and it's still secure to your body, just like a backpack would be so you can actually move rather quickly. So if you would go for the more budget Sony Alpha 6000, our current spendings would be 756.50. So this video technically still isn't clickbait. So we have all the essential things. We have a camera, we have lenses, we have an SD card, we have additional batteries and we have a backpack but there is still more I would recommend to everyone walking around with a camera. That's the Peak Design Cuff. It's not that long since I did a rant on my YouTube live stream where I was ranting about people um, slinging their cameras around their shoulder, but not secure enough. So if they would be bumped into something, the camera would simply crush down and fall to the ground. So you can use one of those to get your hands around it and then simply clip it to your camera and you will be secured. I believe you are not an idiot and I believe you won't drop your camera for no reason, but let's, let's think about the following. Let's imagine you are at a theme park and you get this perfect angle of your favorite roller coaster, but it's in the middle of a pathway. So you're standing there shooting this nice picture and suddenly someone is bumping into you because they are not expecting you standing in the middle of a pathway. Well, it might happen that your camera just falls to the ground and might break. So why not just get something like this, which stops a fall for sure for additional $30. Really a no brainer. Should be in every camera bag, honestly. Guys, I know we are already $44 over our budget on the expensive camera, but there's still one more thing I recommend everyone which is doing travel photography or roller coaster photography to have in their toolkit. And that of course is a tripod. But in my case, it's one of those super compact mini tripods. They exist under many different brands, but they're basically all the same. And uh, the reason why I recommend them for, for example, someone who's doing roller coaster photography is, well, most of the time you will be shooting handheld. I get that, I do that too. But imagine you are getting to a park, it's getting late and it's getting night. And then you see these awesome roller coasters with light, for example, a muck ride. This is the time where you want to have the tools on hand to do a long time exposure. 
And well, to do a long time exposure, you need a solid ground. Of course, you can do that by using your backpack and lying your camera on it. It all works. I did that before. It's fine. But this one, it's so tiny. It's pretty light and it fits perfectly to your backpack. Yeah, I know this is turning into an ad for case logic, but it really isn't. So if you go with your um, tripod like this, you can simply tug it in here pretty simple, like using those two strips, going ahead, going around the head, doing that and getting this one in here. And you have a pretty secured tripod, which won't fall out. Pretty awesome, fits perfect with that back. And of course it does not only fit nicely to your backpack, it also extends to an acceptable height for the compact design. So if you get a table nearby or maybe even a, a trash bin, you can place that one on top of it and you have a pretty solid stand and some height to it. And of course, the feet are adjustable, so you can get really creative. Here's a picture of me using it rather creative. All right, so this brings us to a total cost of 1087.50 for the Sony Alpha 6100 option or 838.50 US dollars for the Sony Alpha 6000 variant. As I said, it really depends if you want to have the 4K video capability. So if that, I really recommend to spend those $100 more than your 1000 budget would allow to. And if you don't need the 4K video capability, you will be fine to start on the Sony Alpha 6000. If you want to see what the Sony Alpha 6000 and those two recommended lenses are capable of, you can go to Instagram and go to the Instagram page of Coaster Addicts because I know he's using that exact lens and camera to shoot his pictures. And when you're over there, why not just head over to Coaster underscore Pix, P-I-X, that's me, and leave a follow there too. You will find Amazon links to all of the products shown in the video description below. If I manage to find out how to do that, those will be affiliate links. So if you click on them, buy something or buy something else, you support me and this channel. Would be really awesome if you at least click them. And uh, that's it for the video. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. We are on the end card and over there you find two videos. One of which is a video YouTube thinks you like and the other one is just my latest upload. So it must be an awesome video. Just click it. Thanks. Bye.